ReadLine is a module that allows us to ask questions of our terminal user. It is a wrapper around the standard input and standard output objects that allow us to easily control prompting a user with questions and saving those answers. Let's go ahead and go into our exercise files. In the start folder, you will find a prompt person JS file. This is an empty JavaScript file that I'm just going to go ahead and open up in Sublime. We can use ReadLine. It is a module that is available to us with our installation of Node.js. So I will create a variable and call it ReadLine. And then I will require ReadLine. And once I have ReadLine, I can create an instance of the ReadLine object, which will create a prompt for me by sending it the standard input and standard output objects. So var rl will be my ReadLine instance. And I will use ReadLine to create an interface. And with this interface, we're going to send it the process dot stud in and process stud out. ReadLine is going to control these objects for us, asking questions and collecting information so that we don't have to control the process stud in and stud out directly. In order to ask a question with ReadLine, all you need to do is invoke rl.question. And the first argument will be the question that will show up in the terminal. We will ask, what is the name of a real person? The second argument is the function that will be invoked once we have an answer from the terminal. And in this function, the answer will be sent as an argument. We can go ahead and just log that answer to the console. Let's go ahead and save our file thus far and then navigate out to the terminal to run it. So I will go ahead and node prompt person. We can see that our question is being asked right here in the terminal. Our application is still running and we are being prompt for an answer. So as soon as I enter, we can see George Washington echoed back to us. Notice that this application is still running. That is because we have not told ReadLine to close. And because ReadLine is still listening, our application is still running. So in order to stop this now, I'm going to have to hit Control C in the terminal. I will also go ahead and type a clear just to clear out my terminal for me. I'm going to go back to my code and add another iteration to this project. What I want to do is ask the user for the name of a real person. And then I want to ask the user for a collection of things that that real person might say. So up here, where I create my read line instance, right below that on line three, I'm going to go ahead and create a variable for a real person. This real person is going to be a JavaScript object. And I will go ahead and give the real person a name of empty to start with and a sayings of an empty array to start with. So this is where we're going to save our name of the person in the things that they might say. Now we can ask a question with RL question, but we can also use the read line to set up a prompt so that we can ask a question over and over again. RL.setPrompt is the function that we can use to set the read line prompt. I'm going to use a template string, which means I'm going to use these back ticks to ask what would and then use the name of the real person. Real person dot name say. So we can use the answer of the real person's name to find out what they'll say. But before we can use that answer, we're going to need to set it. So here on line 12, inside of my function that will call back once we have an answer to the name of the real person, I'm going to use that answer to set the real person's name. And now we can use that real person's name to ask the next question. Let me make sure I add a question mark here. And instead of logging this answer, what we're going to do here is delete this console log, and then we are going to call rl.prompt. So on line 14, we set the prompt, and on line 16, we are going to display the prompt asking our user a question. Now, in order to listen for any of these new answers, we're going to listen for any new lines. RL.onLine is an event that will fire when the user submits an answer. This callback function, the second argument, 
of the rl.online function will also be invoked once we have that answer. And the answer will be passed back to this function. Now, at this point, we're asking what would the real person say? So I'm going to call the answer a saying. And now we're just going to go ahead and echo back the saying. Console.log saying dot trim. So let's go ahead and save this and then navigate out to our terminal and run this application. Node prompt person. And it's going to ask us for the name of a real person. This time I'm going to go ahead and use Ben Franklin. And what would Ben Franklin say? Well, I think he'd say, well done is better than well said. And when I click enter, we can see that that line that we entered, the second question, has been echoed back to us. Now, notice our application is still running at this point because we have not told read line to close. So I'm going to go ahead and hit control C to stop our application. And then we will go ahead and type in clear just to clear out the terminal. And then I'm going to go back to the code. I want to add another prompt so that we can continue asking the same question over and over again and collecting the sayings of a real person. So when we get the answer from what a real person would say in this callback function found here on line 18, what I'm going to go ahead and do is change the prompt one more time. rl.setPrompt. And this time I'm going to change the prompt to read what else would real person say? And we're going to continue to ask this question over and over again until the user types exit. So we will also let them know that they need to type exit to leave. There we go. So that's the new prompt. And what we want to do now is display that prompt. So when we get an answer, we're going to ask you another question. What else would this person say? And then we will display that prompt with rl.prompt. So let's go ahead and save this file and navigate out to the terminal. And let's run it again. Node prompt person. What is the name of a real person? Ren Franklin. What would Ben Franklin say? For now, we'll just say, we'll say red. What else will he say? Green. What else will he say? Blue. And it says type exit to leave, but we actually haven't handled that. So if I type exit, I'm not leaving. In order to exit this application, I still have to hit control C. So I will exit and then I will clear it. Let's go back into our code and add the exit command, which will cause the user to leave. So here inside of this callback on line 18, where we are prompting our users for more questions, what we're gonna do is surround this in an if statement. If saying or their answer dot to lowercase, just to make it case insensitive, dot trim is equal to exit. So if one of the answers is exit, what we're going to go ahead and do is call rl.close. This will close the read line instance. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and ask the person another question. So in the else block, I'm going to take these two statements here, the one that sets the prompt and prompts the user, and I'm going to go ahead and add those into our else block. So now, so long as our user doesn't type exit, we will continue to ask questions. When our user types exit, we're going to close this read line instance. And the last thing that I'm going to do is just listen for a close on that read line instance. So I'm going to come way down here to the bottom of this file, and I'm going to wire up a listener for a close event on the read line instance. rl.on close will listen for a close event. So on line 21, when we invoke the read line close, we can fire this callback function just before closing the read line. So when we invoke a read line close, what we're going to go ahead and do is just log the details of the real person. We can log the real person's name and the real person's sayings. So we have collected their name and their sayings. We're going to log that back to the user. 
Placing a percent %s in the console log is a placeholder for a string. So what it will do is it will replace the second argument that we've added with that string. So here I will add realPerson.name. The next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is write a sentence is a real person that says, and now I'm going to add a percent %j here. This percent %j will replace this variable with a JSON string. So we're going to take that real person's array of sayings and replace that percent %j with that. So real person.sayings represents that array of sayings that we have collected. The last thing that we need to do is I'm realizing we are not actually collecting these sayings. So let's make sure we collect them. We're asking the question here on line 23. We're prompting the user. Whenever we have a new saying, we actually need to save that. So I'm going to call real person dot sayings dot push the saying saying dot trim. There we go. Just making sure that we are collecting all of those sayings that the user has answered right there. So just before we run this application, there's one more step that I'd like to take here on line 37. After we display the information, the real person's name and the things they said, I want to exit the process. So I'm going to invoke a process exit, which will cause our process to end. So let's go ahead and click save on that. And then let's navigate to our terminal and let's run our application node prompt person. What is the name of a real person? Ben Franklin. What would Ben Franklin say? You may delay, but time will not. What else would Ben Franklin say? Well done is better than well said. And it's going to continue to ask us, what else would Ben Franklin say? An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. And it will continue to ask me for these Ben Franklin sayings until I type exit. As soon as I type exit, we see Ben Franklin is a real person that says, and we see that array of sayings as a JSON string. As you can see, we can keep adding sayings until we are finished. Exit is what causes read line to exit and then our process to exit. So ReadLine is a pretty cool tool that we can use to prompt the user without having to use standard input and standard output directly.